Right in front of you, you should have four instruments. They all should have straight end on them. How are we doing? Any, want to get a thumbs up from each side? Matt, how are we doing? Everything good? Okay, great. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. So let's, let's make ourselves uh, really aware of what these will do. Now, if you look carefully, you can group these into two and two because one of them is skinnier than the other. You see how uh, the one on one side is much thinner than the one on the other side, right? Does that make sense? The skinny one and a fat one. So I want you to put the two fat ones on the left and the two skinny ones on the right, just like I'm doing. How are we doing so far? We got it? You been able to figure that out? Pretty, pretty easy, right? Okay, so I want you to take the two skinny ones and I want you to put those away in front of you. So now you're just looking at the two fat ones. All right, now what you have in front of you are the 42S and the 43S off angle chisels. And these instruments were invented by Dr. Jose Medina. Dr. Jose Medina? He's from Puerto Rico. And he was the dean of the University of Florida School of Dentistry. But he started off as an operative person uh, and he had study clubs and followers all over uh, Central America and the southeast of the United States. So Dr. Jose Medina, and by the way, anything I tell you is fair game for the exam. Jose Medina was an amazing contributor to dentistry. Uh, I, I had the pleasure of knowing this man for about 10 years before he passed away, uh, and he was incredible. Incredible guy. Uh, his passing was a great loss to dentistry. Uh, he's authored several textbooks in operative dentistry and translated in Spanish and English and all that. Okay, so, you know, if a guy like that has given so much and he's invented an instrument that's so helpful, it's kind of important, I think, as a tribute to remember the guy's name for crying out loud. And also to call the instrument properly, it's an off-angle chisel, not that weird kind of bent tucker sort of thing in majiggy that I use for the box part of the prep sometimes, I don't know. <laughs> now that's not the name. The name is a 42S, 43S, off-angle chisel. Bam. Tucker members are on it. On it. You're not wishy-washy. You got this down cold. Okay? So. You say you were serious about the exam. I'm serious about the exam. There is an exam. <laughs> you have to get a 90%. <laughs> it's hard. It's 50 questions. I'm serious. Um, all right. So uh, if you look at the side of the instrument, it should say True Bow 42S. If you look really closely, um, hopefully it says something like that. And then the other one says 43S. And some of you may have been lucky enough to have this, but the 43S always has a, a band around it um, where the 42 doesn't. So you can see them quickly on the bracket table and know which one's which, okay? And uh, that's one way to remember it. Some people like to put little rings around these and name and label them. That's helpful too. Now, these off-angle chisels, the 42S and the 43S, are used for different boxes. The 42S is used for the distal, and the 43 is used for the mesial. And you can kind of remember 
because, I mean, there's a couple of ways to do this. Distal, the letter D comes before M in the alphabet. Agreed? And numerically, 2 comes before 3. So the 42 is the distal, the 43 is the mesial. I think that's just one way to remember it. Um, you can also remember that even numbered instruments are always for the distal. I don't know if you knew that, but even numbered instruments are always for the distal. Odd numbered instruments are always for the mesial. An interesting little factoid that maybe you didn't know. So uh, these are utilized for refining the proximal walls and the proximal box of the preparations.